Hi guys, long time no see or you have seen us probably just a few days ago or a week ago but we have not been speaking to this camera for about a month. Yeah. So we're in this house behind here. We're doing house sitting. I think we mentioned that to you already. We've done it for nearly a month now and all we've done is, well, editing a lot. We weren't really worried as- Still we, too fast. We weren't really worried as we had been lucky to meet both travelers and locals. I'll stand in front of you, keep you slow. Okay? <laughs> Venga. Yeah, the leader is too long. Why do you speed up? I hate doing voiceovers. This is the problem we have all the time. He starts out slowly and then he speeds up at the end and doesn't fit with the music. When I get excited, I start thinking really fast. Right, here we go. We I mean, he's a sloth. Can you be quiet, please, darling? Mm -hmm. All right. We weren't really worried as we've been lucky to meet both travelers and locals who have been to the southeast and who couldn't recommend the area enough. And what have you been doing? I've been working on Cambly, just uh, chatting to people in English and getting money for it. Wonderful. So we still have one month, a little bit more actually, in this house it. We're doing two months here. So this video is just gonna be a video about what we've been up to for these two months. And I can promise you it's not much. <laughs> Grated apple, mango, banana, porridge. We've got a bit of coconut milk in there and normal milk. So let's give it a try. It looks delicious. Mm. What a great way to start the day. Mm. Full of everything you need to keep you going for hours on end. Who's this, Marlin? This is Balu. Ah, he's a cutie. He's my favorite. Mm. Oh, he's a rough one. Yeah, but he's a cute rough one. How Roxy? She's a princess. And this is the big boss, but he's also the biggest Oi. Wait, oh, oh, look at that. There's a little bit angry with me now, so I'm going to let him down. Ake is his oh, name. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're on our way to one of our favorite restaurants here in Kamala. It's just around the corner from us, basically. And it's a Muslim restaurant because a big part of the population in Kamala and on Phuket, actually, are Muslim. So they serve halal food, but it doesn't make any difference. The only difference is that they don't have pork and that their animals are killed in the Muslim way. I don't know how they do it, actually, to be honest. So we're on our way there. We don't even know the name of the restaurant. We don't even know the name of the guy, but it's very friendly. Uh, what are you going to have, Alex? You know? Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to be a typical tourist and have a pad thai because their pad thais are very big and very tasty, and you get lots of peanuts, which is always great. I'm not sure yet. I am yet to decide. So see you there. So 
I have ordered, as I said I was going to order, a Pad Thai chicken. Uh, a very cliche thing to do of a tourist, of course, but it's very tasty here. It's very nice. Marlin's gone for a Pad King Guy, which is... Pad King Guy, yeah. Saying it behind me, Pad King Guy, which is uh, like chicken with ginger and chili, and it's quite a nice dish. I don't really like ginger that much, so I wouldn't order it. But it's uh, if you like ginger, it's very nice. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna get, and usually I'll see in just a minute. Okay, okay. we've got soup, we've got soup. When you go to a Thai restaurant, especially a local smaller one, you are often served soup, kind of like a stock. This one has got a lot of garlic and I love it. Let's have a look. This is Pat King, stir fried vegetables with ginger and chicken. So typically when you get a pad thai you put chilli on it, vinegar, but in this case I've got lime, so that's nice, so just put some fresh lime on it. And then you get the peanuts, and you put the peanuts on obviously, mix, and then in this case you get nice bean sprouts to go with it. So I'm going to mix that all up. Alright, so this is a really big pad thai, you don't normally get them this big. It is 60 bucks, so it's like maybe 10 but more than you normally pay, but it's worth it because it's huge and it's delicious. So let's dig in and try. Let's try it. It's nice. It's nice as well because it's got the tamarind sauce in it, I think, so it gives it an extra flavour. You don't normally get that. Yeah. Good stuff. I mentioned we don't do so much when we're here in Kamala and this is why look around us there's like nothing this is quite a boring road there are places chiki 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 chiki. that way because that's the way the beach is but it's very touristy and the restaurants are super expensive down there we've never seen expensive restaurants like that in Thailand anywhere not in such simple settings anyway yeah look, even a simple restaurant instead of costing 50 but like most of them do here they cost like 80 or 90 or more or more so we eat on this street Oi. and on a street that is on the other side of those buildings basically much cheaper much better nicer more authentic more local yeah, as you saw earlier yes <laughs> I don't know. I'm camera shy I don't know what to say it's been so long I don't know. We haven't done this we haven't, so long. Yeah, we're just walking around, not doing anything exciting. And I'm sure this is the most thrilling, exciting, adventurous video you have ever watched. Especially of our videos, you know. We never do anything exciting, so this is just ever. crazy. Yeah, yeah. We never do anything crazy. I'll tell you, it's very muggy. Who's, who are you calling a mug? It's, it's very mug. muggy and Let's get on with it. Let's and go. Look at that, Alex. You can't hold the camera properly. Yeah, well, look, I'm all over the place. Look. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. So we have this very odd, extremely weirdly coloured food that we just bought. It's a kanom in uh, Thailand, which means like a dessert or something sweet. And um, we got some coconut milk on it. And there's bits of sweet corn in it. And then there's this jelly type consistency. It looks really freaky. But we're going to try it anyway. So let's put it down. Oh yeah, look at that. That's proper thick jelly. <laughs> a bit of coconut milk. actually very tasty mm. with the coconut milk delicious and the sweet corn does that mm. oh. <laughs> have you ever tried sweet corn in dessert before if you haven't do it We're going on an adventure and you're going to follow us and we're not thumbing it we're going on this beautiful ride behind us so see you on the road
Okay, we've made it to the Big Buddha and we're gonna go up to viewpoint and supposedly there are monkeys up there. No one has told us, but there are signs that you shouldn't touch them. Okay. So we will see what's up there. I'm very uh, nicely dressed. Alex, can you show them? Give me 12, Marlin. Wonderful, look at that. Looking like a local. <laughs> Buddha is 45 meters tall. It's pretty big and it's definitely one of the main places you should come and check out if you're in Phuket. We haven't seen many places in Phuket but this is one of the places we definitely recommend to come and check out. You get amazing views of the whole area so come here. at the beach and what are we doing here Alex? We are going to go for a walk on the beach to get some exercise. We are really trying hard to exercise every day but are we managing? Not really, <laughs> we really suck at it for various reasons. At the beach you're dependent on their low and high tide and even if it's a low tide you can still not walk the whole beach because it's very leany at some parts and also because we're lazy, because it's hot, because it's sometimes rains well it is rainy season right yes it is rainy season but also because we are struggling to get into a routine yeah. and that's it but we're going to go for beach now and we're going to show you what we have to face every day so check it out Is what we've been up to for the last two months and tomorrow we are going to our next destination in thailand so don't forget to watch our next vlog when it comes up and don't forget to subscribe and how do they subscribe you go like this smash that subscribe button really hard and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when we upload our awesome videos <laughs> very awesome very and awesome. remember to Drop a little comment, ask us a question if you've got any questions about this place where we're staying in Kamala or anything about Phuket. We don't really know too much but we'll try to answer. And the last thing we want you to do is to give us a massive thumbs up. How big should that thumb be? Like this. It looks small, a little bit bigger <laughs> than that. I know you can do it. So <laughs> see you in the next one. See you guys. <laughs>